Hi Aries, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Aries sign. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. And I'll also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information and um, happy winter solstice for those in the uh, Northern Hemisphere this week. Okay, so in terms of energies for the day, we have the full major arcana, we have the eight of swords, and we have the number one card, the alchemist. Others may call it the magician. So with the fool, you know, the fool is about reaching the point in your life where you feel that you have to do something, that you have to recapture the enjoyment, the possibilities, the freedom that comes with doing what you hope to do and what you want to do and what your heart calls to you. So the fool is, you know, as many say, is taking a leap of faith. It's taking a leap. It's taking you outside of what you typically do or what you're typically pursuing. And sometimes we jump right in and then we just kind of go from there. It's kind of like just you get your feet wet and then you have the excitement of this new path, this new beginning, this new hobby, new relationship, new new uh, educational skills, whatever it may be that speaks to you, that is unique to you, that you may or may not feel compelled that you have to do it. Everybody tends to reach their full moment at the right time for themselves, which is you kind of know it's like, you know, I'm ready to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to start my photography business. I'm not going to quit my job entirely, but I'm going to start to really try to move down this path and to make it a worthwhile venture for me. You know, that's taking a leap of faith. There's a big difference between leap of faith and being a fool and being foolish and, uh, you know, being reckless. Quitting one's job to say, I'm going to win, um, the voice, you know, that may be in a different category. It's one thing to pursue your talent, but to, uh, you know, it's a tough world out there and particularly when it comes to entertainment. And so you have to measure, you know, measure what it is in your life, sing locally, begin to build a reputation, record, get your songs out there. So, you know, my, my point is that's with that taking the full type of opportunity involves a risk because things that are new are risky and can be scary, but scary good, you know, scary with a promise on the other side, like, Oh, I like this. You know, I like the challenges that I feel within because I'm following my heart. So when I look at the fool here has just what he needs, the dog is either excited about going or saying, look out below, but it's really, it's what's in the fool's heart. That's important, which is the, again, I'd say the word movement. It's where you want to move yourself. So along that path of these new journeys, Here's the Eight of Swords. And here we see the woman, beautiful illustration, trapped, you know, encircled by the swords, blindfolded, she's bound, and in the distance is the castle. So what do we see? We see someone who feels that they perhaps are powerless to step out of here, that they are restricted, Maybe they're restricted by their own um, lack of faith or self-doubt that uh, it's, it's, you just can't see a way of moving out of this encircled by the swords. So with the Eight of Swords, you know, when we're taking new opportunities, when we're looking at new cycles, when we're ready to take the leap, we may try to talk ourselves down. We may try to talk ourselves out of it. We may 
have that internal dialogue that says you're really not good enough to do that. What are you thinking? And so we, we can tend to sabotage ourselves. So I think that it's important to consider when you are thinking about a new path or a new journey or whatever may come your way, that you're going to have to really put the faith in yourself. And to the extent of you are head gaming yourself and talking yourself into, you know, a place where it's not positive or hopeful. That's, you know, that it's just something that's going to be an obstacle or block you along the way. This woman, she may consider, she may be waiting for someone to rescue her, a damsel in distress, but you know, if your feet are working, you can try to still move. It's, it's a matter of wanting to see wanting to make the move at any cost. Uh, again, her arms are tied, her eyes are blindfolded, but those feet are not tied and those feet can be a walking and they can be kicking and knocking down some of those swords. So it's a matter of when you feel ready to do that at all costs to, to, to get yourself out of this place where you feel restricted. And again, some people feel restricted by inter- external measures by an oppressive relationship or family situation or job. And it just will take time for you to find the way to kick these swords down. So with the fool, here comes the next part of the, the journey, which is again, the appreciation and the understanding that the universe has provided you with many, many, many tools not just the tools that you see here in the illustration, the cups, the pentacles, the swords, the wands, but he's gifted you with will and with a vision and with faith and with your head and your heart. So the mid, I almost slipped there. The alchemist is ready to blend all of the talents that you have, the strengths, the weaknesses, all by grand design for you to continue on your journey, the one that's meaningful and uh, is the right choice for you. Here's the carefree, follow your passions, live life, you know, find the light. Here is use what you have in order to access that light, in order to create the light and to um, allow yourself to you know, move up, move out of your status quo in order to experience new things and to build new opportunities. Again, you, you have to have faith in yourself. You have also have to take steps. You have to take, um, the action in order to make it so. So very interesting cards for the day. Let's take a look at what we have in terms of numerology. We have zero, eight, and one is nine. And nine is about close to being completed. It's about spirituality and wisdom, sometimes being idealistic. And then finally, let me choose an oracle card for an affirmation of the day. driving forces. So the driving forces, again, what do we see? We see a path. We see an empty road, the glowing piece of here, but you know, it's, it's pursuing, it's pursuing what you feel that you need to pursue, that your heart tells you what you need to do. It's the driving force behind creation, inspiration, great works, great ideas, great moments. It's what comes from the heart. So my friends, this is what I have for you for the day. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you so much for your time and comment, like, share this video. It's a wonderful, a a small way to support and I'm so grateful. I'm grateful for your time. I'm grateful for you stopping by and thank you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.